Merry Christmas, everyone! Hi guys, I'm Libby and welcome to Punzi's Palace where I do all things Disney, hence the Punzi, and all things regarding my life and home, hence my palace. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe down below for more Disney and lifestyle content. So today guys, I wanted to talk about some family traditions that my family does around Christmas time. There are quite a few and I enjoy all of them. They're so, so much fun. And there are some that we do every single year. There are some that we do as often as we can. And I just wanted to share them with you guys, as well as there's one tradition that I am starting with Michael's family. So I'm very excited about that. So first things first, my family loves to decorate the house. Mostly me and my mom really love to decorate the house. So we have decorations everywhere. I have an entire box of Christmas decorations that's just for my room. But there are certain things that we decorate in our house a kind of a certain way. One of them being my mom has quite a collection of nutcrackers right now, as well as some tall skinny Santas that we always put in the kitchen windowsill. It's a really big long windowsill and we always put all the nutcrackers in there. And then also in the kind of kitchen dining room area, we also have an advent calendar that is my family's advent calendar where there are these little felt ornaments that we put up on the tree to count down to Christmas. And me and my sisters would fight over who would be able to put it up for which day and everything like that. And we would all fight over who got to put up the one on the 24th, which was always reserved to be the little Santa ornament. I'll show you a clip of that right now. I love that calendar. It's really, really fun. And I love putting it up every year. It's one of my favorite traditions decoration wise. My mom also has a very particular set of decorations that she really likes and that I've grown to really, really love as well. Like giant figurine statue Santas that we put on the steps leading up to the second floor. And there are quite a few. My favorite one has this big gray curly beard and this nice green suit with the list and oh, he's my favorite. And then another thing that I really like decoration wise is the mantle. So with the mantle, everybody gets their own stocking obviously and we have these very nice embroidered stockings with everybody's name on them. But my mom decided one year to do a little project of making snowmen. So she made these block snowmen out of like four by fours. She painted them white and put little faces on them and made them cute little sock hats to represent everybody in our family. And our family is ever growing so I'll insert a picture here of those snowmen but we do need to add quite a few because we've had quite a few babies be born since she last made them and everything, but they are so super cute. I'll show you a close up of me and Michael as a little snowman here. I think they're really cute. They are very heavy to get down out of the attic. And since we're talking about the mantle, let's talk a little bit about stocking stuffers. So I mentioned this a little bit in my stocking stuffer shop along, which you can see up above. But my family, we always, 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 like I think the day before Christmas or maybe two days before Christmas, we always go to any gas station or place where they sell Virginia lottery tickets and we get a bunch of little scratch offs for everybody. And we do that every year and it's always in your stocking. It's usually about the top thing in your stocking and we all scratch them off. And usually it is a huge deal if somebody wins like $10. I think I actually won $10 one year and it was like the best Christmas ever. Usually you either win nothing or you win like a dollar, but it's always a really fun thing that we always do. So I enjoy that. Another Christmas tradition that we have is obviously watching a ton of Christmas Christmas movies. We love to watch Christmas movies together. I have an entire video talking about all of my favorite Christmas movies plus some new ones that I want to watch this year linked up above. But a big thing with watching these Christmas movies is that you have to have something to snack on. And while there are cookies you can have, which I'll talk about in a little bit, a big thing that we love to eat at Christmas time and my mom will always make for us is party mix. Everybody has a different version of like party mix, I guess. It's like a Chex Mix kind of thing, but ours I think is the best. It's salty. It's just, it's just delicious. So it's three different Chex cereals, three different types. I think it's like wheat, rice, and corn Chex all mixed in with some Cheerios. There's some nuts, mixed nuts, as well as pretzel sticks, and then some salt, different salts and 
sauces and everything as like a coating to put on it and my mom makes it a very particular way that apparently nobody else can make it taste exactly the same way that my mom makes it. I'm gonna need to shadow her quite a few times to be able to make it just as good as she does. A bit complicated but it is so delicious and a great little munchy snack to have while we're watching all the Christmas movies and I love it. And other things that we like to bake is obviously cookies. So we have a bunch of different cookies that we like to make. My two favorites are Jenny's cookies or they're like Reese's peanut butter cup cookies as well as chewy ginger molasses cookies. And I actually was a part of a collaboration on a Christmas cookie countdown where I make these two cookies and I will link that up above as well. But those are my favorite ones to make. My oldest sister always loves to make sugar cookies and her and her husband always fight about whose icing is better. He likes Funfetti icing from a can and she likes making her own homemade icing. I just enjoy any cookie that I get to eat. My mom also likes to make Russian tea cakes. We also make sometimes peanut butter balls, gingerbread cookies, just so many different cookies that we have at Christmas time and I love all of them. Another tradition that we do sometimes and do in a bunch of different ways if we can is a tacky lights tour. So that is in quotations because we never go on any official light tour or anything like not on a bus or anything like that it's usually we all get a little baggie of party mixers some cookies and hop in the car and just drive around wherever or if we heard somebody say like oh this neighborhood's really good we will drive around there and that's our little tacky light tour the next thing is Christmas crafts. So I've actually already done quite a few Christmas crafts, so I'll link those videos up above. This tradition is a bit newer because we've only started really doing Christmas crafts recently. There was one year where we made stocking stuffer bags because we wanted to focus more on just getting people small stuff in a stocking. So everybody got to paint their own bag and they were really cute and cool. And I just like making things at this time of year since I make a lot of people's gifts. I'm already in a crafty mood and I'm a crafty person, so I love making making things to decorate that are Christmassy. The next tradition is a very near and dear tradition to my heart and I talk about it in my shop along, but it is Toys for Tots donations. Every year around Christmas time, I would go with my dad and my sisters and he would take us to Toys R Us and we would look around and have a budget. We would go and find toys that we really, really liked or we would really enjoy and he would buy them and we would just go and put them in the Toys for Tots donation box. It's something that my dad found really important was to give back at this time of year as well as he would give back a lot throughout the year anyway but he really wanted to instill that upon me and my sisters to try to give back whether that is doing Toys for Tots donations or donated in some other way. I want to make sure that every year I do donate at least a little bit of something to Toys for Tots. Last year everything was super crazy and I wasn't really able to get out to donate a toy but one time when I was shopping they asked if I wanted to donate to Toys for Tots and it was just a monetary donation and I of course hopped right on that so there's always a way that you can donate and now the last two traditions one of them is a new tradition that I am starting with Michael's family and they were all pretty excited about it and then the last tradition is a tradition that my family does forever and probably will continue to do forever because I like it a lot and so does my mom so yeah so the new tradition that I'm starting with Michael's family it might just be a me and Michael's family kind of thing and it is for everybody on Christmas Eve to open one present which is typical we've always done a one present on Christmas Eve but for his family we wanted it to be like a book exchange so we each get one book that we open on Christmas Eve and we spend the rest of the evening on Christmas Eve reading that book, having some cocoa, maybe some cookies, just like a nice chill evening with treats. And then the last tradition is a Christmas Eve tradition as well with my family that we've done forever. I don't know when it started because it used to be we did do you open one present on Christmas Eve and it could be any present you wanted. Sometimes people would be a little particular about which one. And then it slowly over time turned into Christmas PJs. Every year on Christmas Eve, we would open up our Christmas PJs and that's what we wore that night to go to bed. And we would wake up and spend the entire Christmas day in our Christmas PJs that we had gotten for Christmas Eve. And I love this tradition because I love PJs. And I really liked it because my mom would usually get me some kind of Christmassy type of PJs. So I would feel like I'm already in the mood and all festive and dressed up for actual Christmas day opening presents and hanging out with family. So I know those were quite a few different traditions. I don't even know the exact number of all of those, but I love doing these pretty much every year and I'm so excited 
for new traditions to be started in years to come. So let me know what are your family's traditions or what's your favorite Christmas tradition that you like to do every year and leave that in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, farewell. Thank <laughs> you.